Hello, nerdlings. Hello, nerdlings. So, do you nerd for things that are limited edition? Ooh, like limited run? Oh, exactly like limited run. How about do you nerd for Saturday morning cartoons? Oh, totally. Oh my gosh! G.I. Yeah, Joe, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Turtles uh, X-Men! Oh, oh gosh, X-Men was the best! -na 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 -na. <laughs> now, what we have, <laughs> finally... I know, how long ago did we <laughs> order this? So we have months the months Collector's ago. Edition of Saturday Morning RPG for the Nintendo Switch. Now, real quick... My best van I think that this was the very first game that Limited Run put out. And I was very upset that I missed out on it for the PS4. Yes. I had it digitally for the PS4, but I really wanted that physical copy. So I was absolutely ecstatic whenever they announce a Switch version. I also would like to settle a debate. I think this looks like a knockoff Magneto. He thinks... I think Cobra Commander. So, you guys tell us who you think this looks like. <laughs> now, I do want to say that uh, recently Limited Run did post on Twitter that they had finally got all of the stuff in. There was a lot of holdups with this because of one of the items inside. Yeah. But there were some other holdups with some of their other, other products. They posted on Twitter that they uh, really appreciated everybody's patience while they got everything together so they could start getting orders out. And I just want to name drop, uh, I think it's Rob, Limited Run Rob. Uh, future Tom will help me out. But I was saying that everything would be forgiven if he sent some cookies, but I didn't get any cookies. There was no cookies. He agreed to it. To be fair, though, on Twitter, it was do your nerd asking, and this was sent to uh, Thomas Weston. So I can understand the, the oversight, but I was really looking forward to some cookies. I can honestly say I was super patient for this because I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, real quick, um, we have not opened this yet. It does have this uh, this little like MacGyver knockoff almost guy. sleeve on it. But see, I'm, I'm seeing a G.I. Joe there. See, it looks he's like MacGyver. His, <laughs> he's got his master sword. He's got the Trapper Keeper. So, I love Trapper Keeper. And it's got, of course, all the information down yeah. here. Uh, this was another thing that I believe was holding up some of the limited run stuff. Because before, they didn't have to put the ESRB information on there. Oh. But now they have to. And that's fine. That's cool. So this part comes off. Look, there's all of MacGyver. And you still got the same thing. You got a little, uh, like, glue stuff on there. And just real quick, package separate in the box, was our little trading card, the limited run trading card. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so the plastic is off, and you guys get to look first. What What's is in that there? Look like? I can't, I can't, I have to look, I have to look. Oh, nice. So, I love, I just want to say, I love this image. I love this artwork here. It is fantastic. And as you can see, we have the bad guy in there, in his toy form. And, oh. Oh, look at there. And I believe that should be our hero. That's so, so funny. The art is sweet. totally different on this panel than it is on this panel. All right. Well, let's keep this going and I like get that. everything that's out. That's a lot of fun. That's, that's neat. Okay, so things came in three distinct pieces. There's the uh, now empty box. They were little trays you could pull up. And so there's, there's the toys. Well, I'm going to let Lady Lacey head up the toy part. The toys! So, woo, loud noises. So they're just in their little thingy. And it's definitely like the toys we used to get when we were kids, and they've brought, kind of brought back this retro look nowadays. But there he is. He uh, doesn't quite look like it's the same. It's that <laughs> same crappy 80s toy where you're like, this looks nothing like the toy! Which, this is a, a very popular model of toys right now. You always see like the, the classic retro toys yes. for uh, like, like Jason, Alien and Jason. Uh, uh, all Lilo the, Dallas, Multipass. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> not, they're older and then not so older movies, but 
they come back with these uh, retro styles. Then on the back, you've got how many toys are in the line, which are just the two, <laughs> and then that, that little information card that kids just were, like G. I. were supposed to cut out. Oh, and I had those cut out. I had a recipe box, and I had all of those in there. I loved all the information on those. So, again, so now we have, like, I feel like we have three different versions of this guy. <laughs> because we've got this version, and then the other, like, more anime-style version on the box, and then we have, like, Dad. Although his, his arm look looks like... a little broken in there. It's just kind of hyper-extended. But doesn't he just look like a dad? He's <laughs> like a, the button-up shirt, blue jeans, and then so, there's his little card on the back. Marty Hall and Commander Hood. Da -na -na. Those are pretty great. Those are pretty awesome. But of course we did not get it just for the toys. I mean, she probably I did. Just for the toys. <laughs> look, a cassette tape. Oh, and it's a blank coin. Oh. Oh. Well, we had some uh, technical difficulties with our cassette player last time. Oh! What is this now? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this sounds... That's, uh... I think our cassette player is dying. So, unfortunately, we don't get to put something up live. Uh, that may be a good thing because if it's music, we YouTube would flagged. probably be flagged anyway. But, uh... We'll have to definitely see what was on the blank mixtape there. And then, of course, there you have the game. The Switch game! Now, uh, it's got that art style that I really like on the front. And, of course, can you defeat the evil Commander Hood on the back there? And... What else did we get? What else oh. did we get? I love Those this. Little, I love the Switch Steelbooks. They're so cute and tiny. It's just like so great. Yeah. Tinies. Actually, we were talking about that the other day. The fact that they make Steelbooks the same size as the Switch yeah. cases, instead of just making like a typical size and, you know, throw them in there anyway. So that's very cool. And that's, if you notice, they packaged yeah, it very nicely so it's not scratched. I like how like, like metally, I mean, I know it's metal. But oh, like it's, it's so metal. It's metal. But no, like, the the paint is almost metallic-y looking. It's kind of, I don't know, if, I'm trying to catch the light in it so you can kind of see it shimmer, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. Steelbooks are always a lot of fun to collect. And it looks like we have a poster, mm. which, if you saw our Alaskan game pickup back in the day, the coolest games posters. came with posters. So you've got the more... 80s stylized uh, print on the front of here, and then when you flip it over, you get the more like cartoony anime style on the back. Oh, is that a fruit stripe scum zebra? Oh, it's a great look at all of the little oh my, see, Easter I'm eggs. Serious. That's gotta be a fruit stripe scum. You got floppy disks, you got yeah. CDs flying around. You got some, some, uh, and of course, you got your Transformers actually going on. More than me. Oh, that is a very cool poster. That is and cool. that's fine that they put images on both sides, but how do you choose which I side know. to display? I guess you would have to get like a, a see-through one and make it like a room divider. All right. I think is that, that is all that's in the box other than... A sticker! Are they scratching sniff stickers, I wonder? So, we've got... Pizza? Pizza time! Pizza, pizza. We have a too cool for school um, sun or daisy with sunglasses on. I don't know. They just kind of smell like stickers to me. No, this one smells. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I'm starting to get some. I don't smell banana. There's a goofy banana, but there's a weird smell to that. Okay, one. you know it what? Smells like bubble gum. I think I get a hint of garlic from the pizza. Yeah, I can smell a little. And garlic. I smell some flowers on yeah, this one. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really flowery. <laughs> okay. Now, now the funny thing is, <laughs> do they actually smell, or is this like a psychological thing? No. Smell that. It oh, smells like it's got oh, a gingerbread gosh. man. And then candy cane. Definitely Ooh. smells like a candy cane. You know, I'm surprised that if they were packed together. I know they don't, and you don't have. They're not scratch. These are definitely not scratch and sniff. Although maybe you can get a a better whiff if you do scratch them. Is that like grape and banana? Mm -hmm. Grape anna? Grant, Grant, Grape anna? I don't know. That's fun. I didn't know they were going to be like smelly stickers. 
Now opening this we up. We totally need a trapper keeper so we can put our stickers all over a trapper keeper. So of course you've got the little switch <laughs> like cartridge it. and look. Like the instruction <laughs> booklet. Oh, huh? it's got all the stick. Oh no, there's extra. We didn't get a strawberry. So um, if any of you nerdlings out there got this, let us know if these are like standard stickers or if it was like random stickers. Yeah, that's Because I'd cool. like to know if... If, if we're any, missing out. Yeah, we missed out on some stickers. A full color so a, manual. Yep, there's a story in there. And as you can see, uh, just real quick, of course, Limited Run loves to do their reversible covers. So depending on which piece of art you liked better, there you go. If you were to go off of the manual, I would say it's random stickers. Holy Look cow, that. that's a lot of stickers. Yeah. So, and that probably looked like some of our Trapper Keepers back in the day, too. Oh, it too. totally did. Oh, man, there's some stickers. Oh, there's a pumpkin. There was some on here I would have loved to have gotten. <laughs> Ooh, not the armpit or the snotty nose, though. That's oh, gross. gross. Yeah, that's gross. There's a flux capacitor. I wonder what the flux capacitor smells like flux. Smells <laughs> like flux. Flux capacitor fluxing. Well, guys. This was this pretty cool. This is a great collector set. This is exactly what you want in a collector set. Yeah. Um, you know, the steel book, I love that. I will say... I never know what to do though. Whenever I have a steel book and then like a regular case, it's like I want to use both. Yeah. Uh, but the scratch and sniff stickers, I mean, you don't get much more retro than that. Of course, the cassette tape, and I'm very curious to find out what is on that. I know. And this box is really cool. It's a nice box. And yeah. I, I really like how it flips yeah. open on both sides. I can honestly say, oh, I didn't notice that. If you don't have the toys in there, you can see the picture from the other side. Or you can see a Tom. I was gonna say, I will say probably this time these might be toys I might not take out. Oh. Just they do look pretty they cool. They look pretty cool in their little cards. So what about the poster? What did you think of that? I like the poster. I don't know which side I like better though. I know. It's really hard. That makes it rough. That's why I said you'd have to get like a see-through, like a double pane frame and just use it as a room <laughs> room divider yeah. or something. Hang, hang it in the middle of the room and just yeah. kinda flip it whenever you want to see it. So, guys, I definitely want to know if anyone got the collector set yeah. because we want to know about the stickers, yes. if those are standard or random. And what did you think of all the stuff? Even if you didn't get it, what mm -hmm. did you think of all the stuff? Are you sad you didn't get it now? <laughs> <laughs> I was very sad that I missed that PS4 version, but I have to say, this set totally makes up for it. It does make up for it, and I've got to say, I'm becoming more and more of a Switch fan than any other system out there, just because I like the versatility of it. And I like being able to take it places. I like to say, hey, I don't want to watch a game right now. I want to watch TV. You play your own game. And I liked <laughs> the... Uh, I like the stuff enough that I do think it was worth the wait. Yeah. So, also, I, guys, I didn't mind being patient limited run. I was going to say, also, let us know what you do. Do you do the steel book? Do you do the other one? You know, what, what do you do with your steel books? All right. Well, it's, it's Saturday morning somewhere, right? Yeah. Yes. I don't care if it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everything. So definitely leave some comments down below. Uh, feel free to like it if you like the video. Consider subscribing if you have not already. That notification bell should tell you whenever we have new videos up because we're always putting new videos up. Don't forget to like it, like and subscribe us on Facebook, Instagram, and, and Twitter. And we will let you know with those closer upper pictures. We'll let you know that a video is dropped and what we're doing out in the real world in the wild. In the wild. Nerds in the wild. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. I got distracted. By what? I don't know.